At ngayon naman, kasama ko si Coach Dante Marquez Peo and John Vick, guys, again. I will never get sick of saying congratulations for a job well done for bagging silver for the Philippines men's volleyball, especially Coach Dante. Yes, thank, you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But you know, let's talk about the selection process in building this superb team. Ano yung nagawa yun? Ah, uh, yun siyempre una. Kinosa pa ko ng sa LBPI na kung ano mga calls. Then yun. Ah, uh, nagplano kami. Uh, naisip ko, kasi nung uh, AUG nung last uh, 2018, mm -hmm. ano kami sa Langgol. Then yun, sabi ko, oh, isama na natin itong ENU, yung part ng ENU, then yung part ng 2015 SEA Games, yeah. 2017, kasi sila yung mga may experience. Ito lang yung po pwede natin na ano, dadalhin kasi alam ko na matagal kaming hindi nakalaro sa, ano, sa international. Mm -hmm. And yun, sabi ko nga, uh, ito na yung best. Sabi ko nga nung unang interview ko, ito yung dream, dream team ko talaga na uh, hawakan para sa SEA Games. Ano yung feeling na yun? Sinabi ni Coach Dante, kayo yung dream team niya. You're one of the members that the Coach Dante Alin Sunurin wants to be able to handle for the SEA Games. Mark John Vick. Oh, siguro para sa akin kasi sobrang saya. Kasi last SEA Games ko, 2015 pa. Mm -hmm. Tapos na-miss ko yung 2017. Yeah. Tapos ngayon, uh, naku ulit ako. Nabigyan ako opportunity para I represent ulit yung country sa 2019. Sinabi ko rin naman sa mga ibang interviews na ito talaga yung pinamalakas na lineup sa SEA Games. Yung sinabi nga ni Mark yung 2015 SEA Games, may kulang pa dun sa team. Yeah. Uh, may, may, may idadagdag kami, may mas may improve yung team. Ganun din yung 2017, kaya roster na ipantatapat talaga for the SEA Games. Sobrang overwhelming dahil yun yung masasabi kong dream team para sa, sa Pilipinas. Pero yun what's different about you guys this time around come the 2019 SEA Games compared to how you were 2015, 2017, ikaw naman Mark 2015 na binaon nyo dito sa dream team? Yung pinagkaya ba lang talaga yung 2019? Sa so 15, 17, mm -hmm. yung preparation talaga. Kasi ngayon 2019 sobrang haba ng preparation like 8 months. Yeah. Nag nabuo na na yung team. Eh, yung 2015 and 2017 kasi siguro mga 2, two months. <laughs> two months <laughs> Tumatakas si Coach Dante. Before mag-start yung, yung SEA Games. Sa lahat kasi ng players and coaches committed talaga mm -hmm. itong time na to. Kaya, ayun, uh, as in, willing talaga ibigay yung oras para i-represent yung country. And then, bukod dun sa 8 months na practice namin, may iisa kaming sistema ang sinusunod, which is yung system ni Coach Dante, na na-adapt dun, dun, dun sa players kasi marami ng players niya eh. So, yung height advantage, yung, yung kung paano mag-block, kung paano uh, yung sistema nila when it comes to defense, in lang namin yung mga naglaro nung 2017 tsaka nung 2015. At mas napadali yung trabaho yeah. namin pagdating this nung, nung SEA Games. Kaya, gumaan yung trabaho namin. Pero grabe, Coach Dante, all also, the hard work is thanks to you and the coaching staff. Para, ano yung mga naging plano? I guess, the details in being able to manage them. Kasi, of course, you also Brian and Mark who just came from Japan. Ano mo yung also schedule kahit eight months. You know, sometimes it will never be enough to be able to prepare yourself for the for the international stage. But you managed to do it. Bag silver. Ano yung sekreto, Coach Dante? We have to know. Ano, wala namang uh, masyadong sekreto. Ano, ano lang talaga is yung uh, laging pattern ko sa pag-coaching ko. Kasi, syempre, matagal ka na kami nag-training sa Japan. Uh, uh, and yung team pa lang, nag nagpunta na kami doon. Yung nak nakuha namin doon, experience din. Syempre, yung si Mark nagdaro din sa Japan. Then, si Brian. Kaya, sabi ko, na napadali yung trabaho ko. Kasi nga, kung ano yung pattern na gusto kong mangyari, ano yung sistema na gusto kong uh, ilagay sa team is uh, na-experience sila. Sila ko mismo yung tumutulong din sa akin and sa siyempre yung coaching staff. And yun nga, napadali sa amin yung ano. Tapos nag-training pa kami sa Japan na uh, na-observe nila or nakita nila kung ano pa talaga yung laro talaga ng Japanese team. And ano, ano sila kadisiplina, gano sila ka, ano sa, sa, sa sistema na sa sinusunod. So marami na kayo experience. You got to uh, compete internationally, um, play in club teams internationally, and just also at the same time show the world what the Philippines has got when it comes to men's volleyball. So what's your wish, I guess, for the upcoming programs para sa men's volleyball dito sa Pilipinas? So for me, uh, I think yung pinaka-importante dyan is yung mas magtuloy-tuloy yung programa na simula namin. Well, of course, alam naman natin na yung supporta ng Pilipino mm -hmm. at mga fans dyan, nandiyan na yan eh. Kumbaga, nasimulan na ngayon sana magpatuloy-tuloy lang. 
and mga yung yung mga mag-sponsor sana hindi sila magsawa na masuportahan yung men's volleyball na alam naman natin na uh, may future din para dito sa men's volleyball team at sa future generation na soon to be national players na babawi for us kung di man namin ma matupad yung mga wish namin sa mga sarili namin. Yeah, so ikaw mag ano yung mai-impart mo to the younger generations who aspire to be just like you guys get to represent the country be part of the famous program of Coach Dante and his dream team. Dahil sa nangyari ngayon, sa nakapag-silver kami, siguro para lang mabago yung norm na yung volleyball hindi, hindi lang pang babae talaga. Yeah. Siguro yung volleyball nag-start, eto, starter nito sa men's volleyball na na competitive na rin ng Philippine. Huwag lang sana talaga maputuli yung, yung support, yung, support. And yung, yung program tuloy-tuloy lang. Kasi eto nga, 8 months, tapos nakakuha ng silver, what if kung Years na talaga yeah. yung napagdaanan. Ito yung simula na sinasabi ko sa kanila. Uh, sa trial pa lang, uh, nagpa-tryout ako, nag-cuddle ako. Sabi ko sa kanila na, oh, ito na yung simula natin para yung men's team naman ay umangat yung level ng ano lang laro dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, yun nga, anong nangyari, ito yun, nakuha namin ng silver, hindi kami nagkamali. Pero sabi ko, sana uh, magtuloy-tuloy pa, hindi lang dapat ngayon. At, at maka-inspire ko sa mga bata na mag-start ng maaga kasi yun ang nagiging problema natin ngayon sa volleyball nga, yung, yung nag-start ng late na. Kaya mahirap talaga ang ano, uh, iangat yung team pag gagano ng sitwasyon. Uh, yun na, sana uh, ma-inspire namin yung mga bata na mag-start agad ng ano, ng maglaro ng volleyball and yun at yung suporta pala <laughs> suporta sana ay tuloy-tuloy na po I'm pretty sure you would also want to say thank you sa pamilya nyo mga inspiration nyo so go ahead kayo muna Coach Dante take it away uh, wala siyempre nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat ng tumusuporta like in Gribisco in LBPI na sumuporta sa amin dyan at uh, yung mga family namin yung wife ko yung mga anak ko then yung mga nanood sa Ultra and nanood sa TV na ngayon nasa harapan nyo kami na sana okay magsawang suportahan ng uh, men's volleyball or volleyball sa Pilipinas. Kapasalamat ako sa mga kanya-kanyang family namin na sa umaga pa lang uh, ginigisi kami para ano para makapag-training kami on time, di ba? And sa mga Filipino fans, as in grabe, first time nangyari ito na Nag-sold out yung tickets ng men's team. Ng yeah, men's pati team. nga ako, nahirapan ko muna ng tickets ng live eh. Yeah, in first time talaga, pagpagpasok mo sa arena, mapapawaw ka na lang. Parang basketball game din yung men's eh. Tapos ang daming sumisigaw talaga. And sobrang thank you. And sana uh, pagkatapos itong event na ito, uh, magtuloy-tuloy din yung support nyo. Like sa mga NCA, UAP, and sa mga club games. Yung, yung laban natin Pilipino, sana huwag natin i-separate ang bawat isa. Kung ang kalaban natin ay ibang bansa, sila lang kalaban natin. Tayo magtulong-tulongan tayo. Mas para mas tumago yung sports na nilalaro ang minamahal natin. Wow. Wise words to end it. Ang galing. Again, congratulations, Coach Dante, Mark, and John Vick. Thank you so much. And we wish you all the best. We're excited to see what men's volleyball has in store. So thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of The Score. So stay tuned for more episodes. And you can catch previous episodes on I Want. is the Philippine Kiteboarding Association tour. Um, the goal is really to travel around the country and to have our kiteboarding events in different venues. We have two expression categories. One will be freestyle, the other one will be hang time, where we're looking to see them going the highest and staying in the air the longest. And then a big focus of us is racing. So for the racing division, we're having twin tip racing, which are the boards that can go both ways, as well as foil board racing or hydrofoil racing, which is the new and upcoming category that we'll be using also in the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. The Olympic format will be a team event, so it will be male and female relay, where they'll both have to complete one lap each. Any sailors or anybody that wants to be part, please also contact the PKA so that we can complete our Olympic team and have five years to train. Joining the, the PK here, like the tour, and it was amazing. And just the wind was a bit tough because it was super gusty here. But it's nice place, nice people. I just finished like the, the first place in freestyle and first place in the race. So I was super happy for that. I'm looking forward for the, the next one and it's gonna be amazing. Uh, we've teamed up with the PKA to uh, season seven, 
This year we're really uh, excited to be working with the PKA um, as a sustainability partner, trying to reduce our waste, managing our waste streams, um, looking at different things that will reduce the impact that we make at each of the locations.